Hi there, it's Tom here from Bookery. I'm here today to show you how to use some of our widget generators. Now if you've looked at them already, you'll notice they're all pretty similar. So I'm going to go through some of these core concepts with you to help get you started. So let's use my Flickr widget as an example. Here you can see I've already filled in some of the details such as the widget title and the Flickr search. The settings are split into two sections. You've got the static settings and the live settings. So I'm going to explain to you the static settings first. So let's place this widget in our book. Take note of the cover image under the static settings. Click download and drag this widget into your book. And there we have it. Our widget's in our book with the cover image that was chosen for us on the website. Now let's say I want to change this to something different. I can do this quite easily on the website and we'll do all the resizing for you. The important thing here though is you will need to re-add this widget to your book. This is what the static settings are. They're settings that when you change them you will need to re-add the widget to your book and publish it again. If we take a look at our book, we can see it hasn't changed. So let's download it from Bookery one more time and add it into our iBook. So here you can see our updated widget. So we just need to delete the old one and move the new one into its place. And we're all done. That's all it is. So now let's take a look at the live settings. They're on the right hand side just here. When you make a change to these, we'll try and push these out to your book which is already published. As you can see, my title here is my title and I'm searching for tree. Let's open up the book in iBooks and let's take a look at it. So now if I open up my widget, I can see my search right here, just as I set it up on the website. Right, so let's go back to the Bookery website and update our widget. I'm going to change my title to winter and also my search to winter. All I need to do now is save it. The updates will be pushed to my book next time I load the widget. So let's go back to our book and reopen our widget. And there we go. Once we open the iBook this time, our new settings have been applied. We're now searching for winter and also our title has been changed to winter. We hope that this combination of live settings and static settings makes it easier for you to create really stunning iBooks.